figures versus statues. And I'm not sure, excuse me, what your thoughts are going to be on this one. Because I don't know if you're a statue guy. I don't know if you're a big statue collector. But I know Kiko has become a bit of a statue man, a bit of a statue connoisseur himself. So that said, I'm really excited to see, um, you know, what ends up happening with this one. But figures versus statues is bigger better used be i want to start with you on this one bro if you can get the same character in statue form and you love that character they're like a top tier one or two character for you what do you think is bigger better i think the the answer to that is get both um oh, but no okay. uh <laughs> no i am i would not classify classify myself as a statue guy um i do have some statues i have like five or six um mostly like the mythos vader and some of the mythos line and then i got the um pcs uh Last Ronin, a uh, team and T statue, um, is bigger better. It depends, right? So for X Men, I'm my favorite comic characters are X Men. You can't get those in figure form, right? So for stuff like that, statues all the way, like the you know the sideshow stuff and the I think it's XM or I don't know. Don't crucify me, statue people. I don't know <laughs> whoever makes the <laughs> the the good uh, the good X Men stuff, but. Um, I think for that stuff, yeah, I think they're well sculpted. I think they're they're great. I think the face sculpts can sometimes be, sometimes they're great, sometimes they're soft. You know, we'll see. Yeah. Um, but not better, I would say, than you know a, a figure. Um, as far as one to one, like say Kylo Ren, where you can get a figure and you can get a statue of it or, or stuff like that. I think it just comes down to personal taste. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, you know, I don't think anybody should be shamed for collecting what they want to collect, but like. I think it comes down to personal preference. So for me, I like too many IPs and too many characters that I it's not feasible for me to be a statue collector for all the shit I want to collect because I couldn't, one, display it, and two, afford it, right? So I think for me, I stick to figures mostly just because I am able to grab, you know, a whole line of something if I love it, you know, versus like I'm going to get one, you know, <laughs> third scale figure and that's just going to be that corner of the room there i've had a basement you know unlimited room there uh, maybe a different story but um i think yeah you can't go wrong either way i think they're both great i think statue stressed me out more <laughs> as, far, as far as like i have two kids i have a six-year-old and a three-year-old so i think polystone stresses me out around them versus figures like i don't want them necessarily running around the house with them but if i want to give my son an iron man to you know look at i'm not you know sitting there like sweating so there's that plus two like i said i live in i live in uh, uh earthquake country so you know if if my whole shells fall here i will have damaged hot toys for sure but some might be able to buffed out some might be whatever da -da. if i have a whole ass rack of, of statues fall you know i'm screwed uh and then thirdly uh resale i could package up a hot toy <laughs> right now and sell it you know on this live stream if y'all want to do an auction uh but with a man i would be so concerned about selling a statue like you were talking about kiko earlier it's, trying to sell statues. it's a process so, yeah so i you know to each their own i'm not you know if you want to collect statues and that's your thing they're beautiful pieces of art 100 percent. they're super limited if that's your thing that's awesome too um for me it's just not my thing. I do pick them up when they come up, like the PCS Last Ronin. I had to have it because Turtles, growing up, Ninja Turtles and X-Men were my two things. And when that came out, I was phenomenal. So that sort of stuff. So yeah, don't limit yourself if you have the space and have the want. But uh, yeah, bigger, better, eh, different. Speaking different, of, different, speaking so. of PCS though, used to be, man, I just, I wish that I was collecting at the time. I don't think I was, or maybe not paying attention enough when PCS made those quarter sale scorpion and sub zero statues, because man, great. would I have gotten those, I would have been all over those. And now they're like $1,700 or something. And they were like $450 yeah. at the time. Like mm -hmm. I dude, I wish I had those. I wish I had those. I, I would absolutely love those, but. The, the storm yeah. collectible six scale figures are also good. I don't know if you have. They're those, pretty but, good. Those uh, joints bother those. me, bro. Those joints, I, I know, can't, I can't I get past it. And you can cover them but, a little bit. But. True. Plus the other thing, just one last thing about statues, then I'll keep yeah. go. Um, I don't know how y'all do the shipping for those, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, you know, yeah. it's 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 one of these things where I get charged like twenty bucks for shipping for a, a figure. I'm like, oh, that's a lot. Or, uh, and then yeah, when I got charged for shipping for the PCS statue, and it was like. 160 bucks which the people i bought them from ate some of that i'm sure it costs more with how freaking big it is so four or five hundred dollars for shipping man that's i know y'all factor that in but that's that's bananas dude that's oof. so yeah yeah it's a, it's a bit crazy bro it's, it's a process like sauron i got shipped from prime one and that was economy like boat slow shipping and it still was like 400 dollars. so yeah it was 
that's a big boy. But Kiko is bigger, better. I will say before I let you go, Kiko, that when people come into my collection room, they go for the bigger things. They go to Pennywise, they go to Sauron, they go to the statues first because they just draw your eye more. They're bigger, right? So that's why the question is bigger, better. Kiko, what yeah. do you think, bro? You well, like that is, that, that's the question, Will, is mm -hmm. do you want likeness or do you want presence? Mm -hmm. It's the presence that takes up the room that really draws people in. Will, I can't wait for you to come over. And when you walk up the stairs, you're going to be slapped in the face with Venom's <laughs> giant tentacle and you're gonna be like <laughs> that, that is good. one yeah that that is one hell of a piece and it's it's one of my favorite pieces i've ever owned in my entire life it's just because it's the presence is incredible you know a one-third venom statue because venom himself is just a bigger character in general and then make it a one-third scale pretty monstrous but all that to say is that the likeness doesn't necessarily translate a hundred percent you know to a bigger figure it's like oh it's a bigger palette you know it's gonna be great blah 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 is this it that's not the one. That's you, not the you, one. The PCS, Who made it? PCS Venom. Oh, it's PCS. Okay, yep. okay. I looked up one third scale Venom. I was like, I cannot remember who made that statue. It's, yeah, PCS Venom. Okay, there we go. Oh, damn. Kiko, that thing's 1800. Yeah. Yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, there he is. That's a big oh, boy. that is gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, go to the one with the snarling, the smiling head sculpt. Because he comes with two. Okay, let me Got see. Got 39 here. inches tall. There's the tongue. There's there it is. One. Yeah, yeah, that's badass because it came with two sculpts, and I love that one. Mm. Either way, yeah, 39 big old inches over three feet tall. But anyway, um, you know, just because you have a bigger palette doesn't necessarily translate to a better figure. I mean, this Clone Wars Kenobi, and I think people have said the Clone Wars Anakin kind of sucks. I mean, the presence is cool, but the likeness is not there. Someone in the comments mentioned like the quarter scale figure is like the perfect medium to kind of figuring out if that's the route you want to go. And I will respectfully disagree with them because I have two quarter scale figures that I don't like. I just don't like because it's a weird, it, they're very big. Yes. But I have the quarter scale Mando and I have the quarter scale Vader. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that I don't like them that much. And I will not be getting the quarter scale like Boba Fett, the, the book of Boba Fett or whatever that one was or any other. Well, maybe if they do a dark side Anakin or something, I'd consider that. But it's a weird size because it's an action figure that's almost too big. Like all the joints are ratcheted. You don't, it's, it's weird to hold in your hand. That's all I can say. And for those people that have had quarter scale figures, it's different from a quarter scale statue. A quarter scale statue works. A quarter scale figure doesn't. But that's the answer. Do you want presence or you want likeness? And that should be what it comes down to. Because if you want the presence, then you'll go with a statue. If you want a really cool figure that you can show off to people, get some really cool likeness, there you go. I will say though, Kiko, some of these statues, man, they're getting pretty damn good as far as likeness is concerned. Yeah, because my, my pure arts Michael, you know, he's, yeah. he's tremendous. And I mean, he looks just like him or whatever. And, you know, that's a third scale or whatever. And that looks just like, but I think you're going to have to pay if you want it to look like that. I think there is going to be sure. a cost tier associated with it. So if you want a giant statue that looks identical, you will pay for that. Well, and I'm with you, Kiko, um, about the quarter scale thing, because I've had a quarter scale figure before. I had the Joker, the Heath Ledger one, and I liked it enough. But when you start getting quarter scale statues, quarter scale figures I, i'm not a big fan it's, it's weird not, you know it's, it's hard a weird to like, scale i can't really figure. articulate it really well and i love yeah. articulating things but and they're about, heavy yeah. right so for me like yeah. I, i'm all about i mostly have quarter scale statues that's pretty much what i have i have quarter scale and half scale i used to have third scale at one point i don't have them any longer just kind of ran out of space but it's one of those where quarter scale man they make a lot of characters in quarter scale so you're gonna have a lot of options you have a lot of options to kind of get what you need so for me man I, I generally think the bigger is better. Like, for example, as much as I love my Hot Tours Loki, I cannot wait for that quarter scale Loki. Yeah, right. That's be and if that quarter scale Loki comes out, Queen's probably going to make a half scale Loki, and I'm going to want that. And then I'm going to look at the quarter scale and be like, damn, it's cool, but that half scale Loki, you know? And yeah. that's as much as people are kind of freaked out by Pennywise, right? Some people aren't. When I bring people over to look at the collection, the first thing they go to is Pennywise every time, like every single time, because he's the biggest one. He's the biggest one, and people are like, damn. Dude, even even when my mom comes over here just to this house, she sees like she's like Pennywise is the coolest thing you have, and I was like, <laughs> he is like as, just because he's massive. So in Sauron too, I mean he's pretty damn big, but you know he's technically a quarter scale, but still he's he's really like a half scale in size. He's like forty three inches tall, so pretty damn big. But I will say if you guys can get some statues, take a look. But I do feel like they have to be tier one or tier two characters. They got to be really important characters to get a statue. Mm -hmm. And you got, nowadays, you got to be sure you're going to keep that statue. Right, which, trust yeah. me, you do yeah. not want to sell it in this economy. It's not going to go well for you. So Please do not waffle on that. Yes, yeah. do not waffle back and forth. You got to want it. Trust me.
Trust me, take my word for the, it. The next, so. the next one I have coming in is the uh, Mythos Vader. I saw uh, oh, Danny dude. unbox that on Collecting Weekly, yeah. and uh, it looks so good. It, it looks, looks amazing. So good. And that one's not yeah. that price. It's like six hundred bucks. I mean, that's not yeah. nothing. But it's like some of these statues now, yeah. two, three thousand dollars. I mean, that's that Va- that Vader is really nice for the price too. It's really. And I just want to shout out if you have a local comic shop that's a sideshow distributor or anything that gets like statues, if you can get them local to where you don't have to worry about shipping and such such a big help there's only one statue the pure arts um michael that i had shipped everything else i've bought in local and that's Perfect. saved me a ton of money because i don't have to ship anything just load right. it up in my back seat right absolutely absolutely 